Aha, there we are. I think we're there. Uh, evening all. Uh, as per usual, if you can see in here, please give us a thumbs up underneath or type something in the comments. Uh, I just realised this microphone was really awkward to clip onto this hoodie, so hopefully you can hear me okay. It's not coming through too um, muffly. <clears throat> uh, evening, David. Uh, oh, I sent you a message, David, on the website, so hopefully you've got it. If not, let me know. Um, let's see, we've got a couple of thumbs, that's good. Good, good, we must be working then, excellent. So, I hope you all had a jolly uh, couple of days. Um, I have been busy doing various things as per usual. Um, somewhere here I've put the results, which is what we're looking for, isn't it? What have I done with them? Hang on a minute. Uh, I've lost the thing, I've lost the thing, here it is. Uh, prices, there we are, found it. Uh, right, so this is the stuff that sold Sunday night. So these run through. Pennies, those tubes, new pennies, £4. That seems a bit of a bargain to me. Um, so my light's a bit funny again tonight. Hmm. One of these days I'll get these camera settings right. Uh, so a few lots of coins went. Uh, we've got some more coins coming in due course. Uh, some locks there, 15. Uh, evening Rockola. Um, what else did we have? Let's have a look. Some is prices in Miss World order as usual. Uh, since six months is there, I should put the amounts on these coins, but you can find them on the website anyway in the appropriate section if you want to know how many was in each lot. Uh, well, they're quarters there, £21. Uh, oh, one of those cash boxes, 23, they're always popular. There's still a few more to go. If you need a cash box for your Mills or Seager. I think there's one on at the moment. A big lot of sixpences. I think it was 200, was it 200 in that lot or 250, something like that. Ah, a big lot of quarters. I think there's 250 in there. So that's 53 pounds. Quite a good buy, actually. It's probably actually less than they're worth to cash in, as it were. A new set of reels there <coughs> for Mills or Seager. Very hard bit to find. Uh, then onto the machine, so we had the um, Bell Fruit uh, Big Win, nice chromy bandit there, 412. <clears throat> um, what was on sixpence, I think, wasn't it, if I remember rightly? I think it was sixpence, I can't really see on my little photograph on the screen, you can probably see better than I can. Um, and then, I think it was three machines. So, the next one... Go on, turn around, there we are. Uh, it was the Aristocrat uh, Bingo, Aristocrat Elite Bingo. Again, really nice condition, actually, nice chrome, really nice clean mech in it. Um, 610. And then I think the big one this week was da, 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 uh, the Lovely Mills Castle Front, 1725. There's a lot of interest in that, had a lot of offers on it. <clears throat> From uh, Eating Pool, I think the lowest was about 600, I think, which is kind of a bit of a bit of a chancy, cheeky bid. But there was a lot over um, over a thousand, eight or nine, I think. Um, I'm pretty close. I think the bid under was, I think, 1707, I think, or something, some odd amount again. Just proving the point of those odd amounts. Tend, what people tend to bid. So yeah, so that was the top one this week. Um, let's just run through again. If it will. There we go. That's running again. Oh uh, yeah, those pennies were cheap, I thought. £4 for a brand new tube of 50 Uh There's two more tubes of those to go. I think there's one finishing this week and one next week. Really good if you've got like a you know to put a jackpot on a machine on a bandit or like the mills machines that have jackpots. 
um, like the pyramid and the hidden treasure and not the hidden treasure, but the other one. Uh, and three ball machines have visible jackpots in them, don't they? Some of them. So yeah, nice shiny pennies, just what you need. Hmm. So yeah, let these run through again. Um, and then I've done a couple of new pages on the website, which I'll show you in a minute, which are, um, well, you know, kind of moving toward the, <clears throat> getting the um, like, uh, forum help page chatty thing, whatever you want to call it, up and running, which will perhaps be a job for over Christmas. Um, it would be good to get that doing, I think. People are waiting for it, so I should do my best. So just let these run through again, then we'll see what's selling this week. Have a quick run through and look at the new bits of website I've just done. And um, then go from there. So just come around to these machines again for those who joined us late. Uh, we had the Bellfruit Big Win, 412, nice shiny machine. Another shiny bandit, the Aristocrat Elite, 610. And then the top price this week was 1725 for the lovely castle front. Uh, yeah, nice machine. A lot of interest in that one. There we are, let's just stop that for a minute. Um, so if we go back over to the old old website, here we are. If I just moved, hmm, yeah, we've gone from there to there, look. Just line things up again. Um, so this is what I'm thinking this week. We have got a couple of signs, one of these fun these ways, painted by yours truly. Never had time to paint such things. So that one will go to a good home. Um, and then there's uh, 10 machines, including the very rare Jupiter, which people seem to be quite liking. It's quite a fun machine to play, actually, I quite like it. Um, what else we've got the interesting? The Iris needs a bit of restoration, but a nice machine, or will be a nice machine. Yeah, some gold awards for Seegers. Various different Seegers, so the um, Lord Seeger, Seeger Light Up, and the whatever the other one is. Do not know what that old penny payout thing is, but there we are, somebody will do. And uh, <coughs> excuse me, a few lots of coins. So that's finishing this week. Um, new stuff this week, if you haven't looked for a few days. Um, I relisted uh, five machines that didn't go um, over the past few weeks. So you've got a second chance to get them before Christmas. The Brian's Retriever, uh, the Mills Black Cherry Seeger Continental, the, that um, tabletop arcade game with 150 odd games in it, something like that, um, and the big darts machine, which is an impressive machine that a lot of people seem to like, and I don't think we had any offers on it, bizarrely. So, um, yeah, lots of people like it, nobody wanted to buy it, very odd, there we are. Um, and then a whole load of bits again are relisted um, that didn't go around the first time. So do check for the bits for your projects. Um, and then right down the bottom of the new stuff, which is just about a week ago, and as you've probably already seen it, I suspect. Um, some other quite interesting machines, a pocket comb vending machine, which is not much use to me. Um, the Violetta, that's a perfume vending machine, quite a rare thing. The Volta electric shocker. Another rare one, um, a nice French all win with spun metal back, they don't come up too often. The hoops, again, another nice little machine, doesn't come up very often. Uh, Brian's pill win, and castle top case. Um, yeah. So there we go. Um, let me just pop back to this one for a minute. And then I, uh, in, I've got a whole load of spares, two big boxes of spares, more spares coming, I had a, just a mad rush on spares, 
which is great because I know a lot of people are waiting for bits to finish their projects off on. So that's going to keep you busy for the next couple of weeks, probably listing that lot literally. Um, I know there's, there's some good back doors for bandits. There's a whole load of bandit spares. There's a whole load more bandit spares coming. It is mostly bandit spares um, rather than all wins or anything else at the moment. <clears throat> but of course, if anyone's sitting on a load of all win bits or anything else come to that, um, then send them in. Uh, talking of sending in, Alan the Carrier is coming on Friday, late on Friday. So if you've got anything to pick up, if you just bought or anything that's stored here for the past couple of weeks, um, get hold of Alan and he can pick it up on Friday afternoon when he's here. Um, he's dropping some bits off as well. Um, so that's good. Um, viewing, collecting, delivering, etc. Tomorrow is probably okay. I think I'm going to be around all day tomorrow. Uh, Thursday, Friday, I'm out. Saturday should be okay. Sunday, I'm out. So I have put a note on the homepage of the website here somewhere about all this carry, carry visiting, collecting, delivering, Friday and Saturday. Um, yeah, so probably not Friday now. Until Friday, late Friday, because I'm probably going to be out Friday daytime. So I need to alter that. Things keep changing, hey ho. Uh, yes, yeah, so I send new pages. If you go, uh, if you're signed in uh, onto the cup of tea page, you'll see there's now two new pages, latest images and latest archives. So the latest images is uh, pictures I've uploaded. Some will be of items for sale, but not always. It's basically these pictures are the um, this kind of like the um, main picture on an item page, be that item a slot machine or a book or a enamel sign or whatever it happens to be. <clears throat> so they'll either be, generally either be where we haven't had a picture of something before, or if there's a better picture. If the only image I've got is a really bad one and then we get a better image in, then they'll appear here. So it's just interesting to see what's been updated lately. Um, there's a few here I grabbed I actually took these from the video when I was at um, at the meetup last weekend. Some of Peter's machines. I think about bad actually because they're video grabs. They could be a bit sharper if I took them with the camera. But yeah, I just happened to spot four machines I knew I hadn't got. Uh, he's penning around. Which we think, as far as we can make out, there's three of them. From discussions on the day, etc. We thought there was five, then we realised that um, we were counting this one, Peter's one, three times, or two or three times. So there's only three, as far as we know. If anybody knows where there's any more, um, then yeah, the one we seem to be lost track of was the one that John Carter owned. Um, and no one seems to quite remember who ended up with that one. It didn't go in his auction, the auction he had just before he died, which was 20 years ago now. So that's out there somewhere. Uh, yeah. So yeah, keep an eye on that. And then the archive bit I um, will be stuff like this. Um, flyers old location, you know, pictures of machines or fairground rides or signs or whatever they happen to be, stuff on sort of on location, um, advertising stuff, old instruction manuals. Um, uh, I've got somewhere I've got a couple of old coin slots from about 40 years ago, 50 years ago, which are really interesting with nice adverts in and stuff like that. So, um, just click on one, no, this Toto we sold a few weeks ago. There's a flyer there for. Um, so yeah, on each of the pages in the, underneath the gallery is the archive section. So we'll gradually fill that up. So if anyone's got anything um, that we can have images of, that would be great. If you've got old advertising literature, flyers, photos, you know, pictures of stuff on site, anything of that ilk, 
and gradually fill things up. So this will be an interesting page to keep an eye on, I suspect. Uh, and hopefully we can fill pictures in. I'm trying to fill up the slot pages and then we'll get to obviously the fairground stuff once that gets up and running. But for instance, um, let's go to our old favourite Brian's page. As you all know, Brian's machines. Where are we, Brian's? The bees seem to be working again now. I um, mean, you know, there's some gaps on here we can hopefully fill up even if we can't find a a picture of a real one. Uh, like Bumper, for instance, you know, there's illustrations in old advertising literature and stuff, so we can fill some of these gaps in, hopefully. So at least we know what we're looking at, even if it's not the best picture. My, you know, theory is any image is better than no image. And uh, if we can get an image, that's a start, and then hopefully over time we can get better images. Either as actual machines come in for sale, I can get nice photographs of them, or if people send them in to me. Um, or if I'm out and about on my travels and perhaps I'm in someone's collection somewhere we can grab a picture of. So yeah, that's where we're at with those. Um, so these Y60, just because it happens to make 10 rows of pictures, that's all. So they'll always show the latest 60. So yeah. That's that rock I said. I've got a couple of bandit flies, ads, etc. Excellent. Well, if you can um, get them scanned or photographed as high as resolution as you can. Um, and email them to me, probably the best idea. Um, which email is best? I don't know. Send me a message and I'll work out which email to send them to best or Dropbox them or we'll sort something out. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, bigger the resolution, the better. I can always shrink them down. But when things are, you know, low resolution, it's difficult to scale them up, obviously. But yeah, hopefully that will, um, you know, start to fill things up a bit. <clears throat> um, and then, as I say, over. New Year time, I want to try and get the forumy chatty thing um, working, and that will be linked to each item page, so it'll be easy to keep track of them. Um, unlike other forums where it's not easy to find something because stuff just gets lost back in time. So, what we will do is you know, any posts relating to a Jupiter. Somewhere down here, probably, I don't know, down here somewhere, we'll have a, um, a forum section, if you like, where people can ask questions about this machine or, um, you know, provide information about it or maybe they know where to get a spare motor for it or how it works or how it doesn't work or a tip to fix it or whatever, all that kind of stuff. Um, but the difference is here is everything will be uh, on its appropriate page so it's easy to find in the future and then back over in the old cup of tea section we'll have just a general um, uh, kind of form index thing so which will perhaps like show the latest however many posts <clears throat> so there will be two ways to find this, find stuff so um Whereas the latest post will obviously be the mo exactly what it said, the latest ones. So something that's three or four years old would disappear off that list, obviously. But you'll be able to easily find it by going to the machine page or the fair and road page or the mm, toy page or whatever the hell that happens to be in the future. So yeah, that's the plan for that. So it's coming along. So this is another stage along that road of getting that done. Um, I've been doing a bit or two now and again. So yeah, uh, any questions of anybody? Anybody need to know anything? Um, particularly about the stuff that's finishing tonight. Uh, not tonight, this week, sorry. Um, then ask away. I do still need to put a few more details up about these machines. Which I will do tomorrow. 
There's some new stuff to list as well that's come in. So there's a, a Ruffer and Walker uh, Grand National Racer, big two-player horse racing machine. There's an extremely nice Brian's Three Ball Nine Cup. Uh, there's a Jubilee something or other, Bandit. I seem to think there's something else as well. Uh, I can't remember what it was. So I've got a busy couple of days, so I'll try and get them listed tomorrow with a photograph, but chances are they won't get videoed until um, Sunday, probably, sensibly. Because uh, I'm busy, busy, busy. I've got to go and collect the next couple of days or next three days. Uh, I'll get down to, hopefully get down to see Paul Mitchell. And do a quick bit of a plan of the DVD we were, we we're going to make. So I'll take a quick few photographs or video video or something so we can all see what, we've, what we're aiming for. And I've also got to get down to Carter's to pick up all of John Carter's uh, book collection. There's a lot of books to sell. Um, so that essentially takes up two days of the three that are left this week. Um, And then the weekend I've got family stuff on. So yeah, busy old week really, trying to jiggle everything in. But we'll manage somehow. Um, I updated something else and I can't think what it was. I think it was just admin stuff, sort of my end, just to make things a bit easier as usual. Don't think there's anything else I've done. Um, member side, as it were, to the website recently. Um, there was a little glitch somebody spotted today, which I sorted out, which was that in your, I don't think I've got anything in here because it's my sample account. Um, and I haven't seen it. So on your buying pages, basically, um, any of you who've bought stuff will know the little um, thumbnails sit here. And it tells you what stuff we're still holding and what stuff you've picked up or had shipped out to you, whatever. And some stuff had been shipped out to you or you'd picked it up, but it was still shown as we'd got it. That's hopefully now corrected. It was a glitch um, from when I swapped the database about a few weeks back. <clears throat> so that should be OK now. Um, but if you see anything, if anything looks wrong, if it says that we've still got something that you've got or vice versa, um, if it's saying I've shipped it out to you and but you haven't got it, then just let me know and I'll double check just to make sure everything's honky dory. But it should all be good now. Um, the other thing I've done in the background, which you will notice, um, there was sometimes a bit of a delay between if you'd made an offer for something. Um, as you know, everything closes on a Sunday night, on a Monday morning. Um, your offers move from the live offers page to the under consideration page. Well, while the sellers consider whether to accept your offer or not. Um, and then it, if you win it, it goes to purchase. If you lose it, it goes to rejected. Um, there was a bit of a delay sometimes between the seller deciding whether or not to accept your offer or the highest offer. Um, and then uh, that decision, as it were, I'm not making much sense of this, appearing on either of these pages. The gist of it being sometimes your offer would appear to disappear altogether. It wouldn't be on any of the pages. So you'd made a £500 offer for a bandit, midnight had gone, Monday morning you had a look to see what's happened to your offer and it sort of appeared to have disappeared altogether. That now hopefully shouldn't happen. So we'll keep an eye on that uh, this Sunday, Monday. Um, <clears throat> for anybody who's got offers in on any of this lot. So hopefully that should happen a bit quicker. Obviously it's still down to the decision of the um, seller to accept the offer, or reject it. Um, but the, the process should happen faster from there on in. So your offers shouldn't disappear. I really haven't explained that very well, have I? You know what I mean. Hopefully.
So yeah, all these things are just continuous little improvements in just trying to make the whole website better, the whole system better. Um, sometimes the smallest little tweak takes half an hour or an hour just to fix. Sometimes it takes half a day or a day to fix, um, depending what it is. Um, it's just it's not always easy to find when something goes a bit wrong, or it's sometimes it's a case of I want the website to do something, or you want the website to do something, and because it wasn't designed with that in mind in the first place, um, it takes a lot of doing. Any of you who program things will know exactly what I mean. And if you don't, you won't have a clue. But yeah, it's like having all the bits for a Ford Escort and trying to make a Rolls Royce, if you like. If you haven't got the right bits to start with, you can't make the end thing necessarily. So you have to go back and change all the bits. Which is why then something that seems easy on the face of it can take end up taking a, a day of programming to, to get to work properly. But we're getting there. We keep changing bits and bobs, keep adding new features, um, new sections. Um, as I was saying, these next few machines, they will be listed to end on the um, 19th, is it, I think, of December? Yep. Um, and then I won't, well, I might list machines if they come in, but I won't set their ending dates from then on until the um, 9th of January. Because obviously the two Sundays in between are Boxing Day and the 2nd of January when people are going to be either drunk, asleep, uh, bloated on too much turkey and mince pies or whatever. Uh, too busy doing family stuff. And then it, obviously it's not fair on the sellers because the, uh, you know, the buyer's not going to be probably in the mood for fiddling about with a website, etc, etc. So, um, but in the meantime, I'll, I'll probably will, I'll keep listing things like spares. And as I said, there's a lot of books to come in. There's a whole of the circus programs to do as well. Stuff like that, small things that you're not likely to come and want to um, look at or, or need to put, you know, think about whether you can spend 500 pound or 1,000 pounds on it. Um, because a spare part, you either need it or you don't. Um, you know, and things like books and things, which are, you know, 10, 20, 30 pound or whatever is sort of stick an offer in and forget about it pretty much can't you so we'll, we'll trundle on with those in the meantime uh, David says he understood it and he's thick well excellent that's all right then I suppose it's a bit like me I programmed it and I'm thick so you know maybe that's why it works if someone thick programs it, that means someone thick can understand it. Great, that's how marvellous. There we are. Uh, Shall we run through the prices again for anybody who turned up late? Let's click that on. And then um, we'll do this, run this through again. And then if everyone's done, we'll call it a night. And I'm going to have a cup of tea because my tea's gone cold again. Could have been nattering too much. And I'll get a fresh cup of tea and carry on. Uh, yeah, so there's some coins. There's some more coins coming. Um, there's some lots. I know there's some lots coming of, um, I think they're mostly pennies and sixpences, which are sorted out into years. So if you're looking for a particular year, I think they're mostly 50s and 60s from what I remember. Um, you know, if a, a particular year is significant to you, you could have all the pennies in your all win for 1965 or whatever. That's quite a novel idea. Yeah, keep an eye out for that. Try and get them up before Christmas, hopefully. 
Plus has a lot, a lot of small stuff to list, lots of spares. It's going to be like, I don't know, 200 lots of spares or 100, certainly over 100, maybe 200 lots. A lot of stuff. Um, I might have to format the spare parts page a bit better. It's getting a bit big and unwieldy to, to look through, as I'm sure you realised if you've been looking for a bit. Uh, so there we are, coming around to the machines, we had, for those of you who are late, uh, the Bellfruit Big Win. 412, nice chrome shiny machine. Uh, another chrome shiny thing, I think Aristocrat Elite, 610. Uh, so again, it's showing the popularity of this sort of 60 stuff is going up and up and up. And the lovely, i just pause on that one for a minute, the lovely uh, Mills uh, Castle Front. Blue Front, I think is it originally called by Mills. Uh, 1725. That was the highest this week, and I think it was the one with the most um, offers on. I think it was about 10 or a dozen offers on that one. So yeah, it caused a lot of interest. Possibly helping by me taking it to the swap mate last weekend, the weekend before, whenever it was. So, yeah, there we are. There we go. Uh, anybody, anything from anyone? Any questions before I go? Any questions? Let me know quickly, particularly on any of the stuff that's finishing uh, this Sunday. Just scroll down a bit like that so we can get it all on the one screen just about. Um, if you need to know anything about any of these machines, either stick a comment in now, sharpish, or send me a message and I'll get you the extra information <coughs> in, uh, in due course. I will put a bit more information on the descriptions uh, tomorrow on some of these. Um, but there's videos of all of them so you can watch the little videos um, and that hopefully will tell you everything you know. You can see them inside and out, all the way around. Um, and see them working or not, as the case may be. Um, yeah, there you go. So I think that's probably it. I will catch up with you again on Friday night. I think the next one will be... Can I do Friday night? Let me think. Yes, I can. Carrier's coming on Friday. I'm probably going to be out in the daytime. So, yes. Should be able to do Friday night video. Um, <clears throat> and I'll get those new machines that come in up by Friday. Um, and probably some other new stuff as well, I expect. So yeah, let me just stick a note in here. Just say, uh, next live stream will be um, Friday Eve. 8.05 p.m. Um, with new arrival shove it in there like that right that's it i think so i'll bid you farewell you can all go and watch coronation street or whatever it is you watch these days on television i don't really turn the television on these days because it's all just crap i can't bother with it i'm going to go and have a cup of tea and do some work so we'll see you on friday over and out, night and night.